Morning boys and girls, happy Tuesday, Tuesday the 21st of April, happy hump day. We're almost at the top of that week and then it's through to the weekend. So what are we going to be doing today? Today in English, boys and girls, I want you to catch up with some spag work and have a go at the colon activity that Miss Halls and I have uh, created for you. Colons are quite important when it comes to play scripts, so have a look at that and um, work your way through. With maths, you're going to be working with adding decimals today um, over the one boundary. So what that basically means is currently you've been keeping numbers, adding and subtracting within one. So today we're going to be looking at numbers bigger than one, but just use the same skills you've used all year and you'll be absolutely fine. Also use today to catch up with your IPC. Um, it's middle of the week, so you should have a good couple of sessions that you've worked through uh, in your booklets. I'm going to say a big uh, shout today and a well done to uh, three kids. First of all to Bobby. I've been really pleased with what you've been doing recently, Bobby. Very creative, very innovative, and you're presenting the work which I give you in your own way, which works for you, and I'm really happy with that. Well then to Gemma, similarly Gemma, you're trying really hard, which I think is amazing, and you're presenting the work so that it suits you, and I can still read it, so that's absolutely fine with me. Nova also has been very creative, very innovative, so well done to you also. Plus everybody else, because you're all doing an amazing job. Now I just wanted to take a few minutes today to explain to you the end goal that we've created for you for um, English this term. Now just for a bit of fun, um, what I want you to do uh, individually, but maybe if you can encourage your brothers and sisters, your mums and dads, maybe if they're up for doing it, is basically doing your own family play of the Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, there's a script that's attached to the one link uh, booklet. So you've got a choice and uh, typically with uh, year five, there's three different options. The level one option is for you, uh, plus whoever else wants to join you to present the little shop of horrors, but your favorite bits, your favorite scenes, and to act them out basically from the start, through the middle and to the end. That's level one, choosing your favorite bits. Maybe a bit of singing involved there as well. Level two would be to present the whole play, or as much as you want to present of the whole play, but substantially a little bit more than a level one option would be. Again, using different members of your household to perform. Dress up if you can do, uh, try and create a set if you can do. If you can use any apps like iMovie or Movie Maker, use those, put all the scenes together. Level three is a bit more of a challenge and uh, the further we go through this term, the more skills you guys will have. It's to create a sequel to The Little Shop of Horrors. So this is when uh, you think about what happens after The Little Shop of Horrors, the story. That's a level three. We're gonna be giving you lots of uh, help and tips and things so you can work your way through um, once you know what happens at the very end of this current story shall be brilliant. So what's the purpose of this? Well what we want to do is have a bit of a, an award ceremony. I want you to send in all of your movies to me before the end of uh, this half term, before the Eid holiday. Miss Halls and I will have a look at them and we'll have some form of ceremony, some form of like Oscars ceremony. I'll get you guys to dress up nice and smart. I'll put a tie back on again and we'll look to see who the best actor, the best actress, the best producer, the best props the best scenery, the best everything is, and we'll find some rewards, awards to give you um, for your efforts, okay? So lots of fun to have, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing your movies very, very soon. Boys and girls, have a brilliant day. Take it easy. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.